And we are live. Happy Hello. New Year's, guy. Guys, guy, guys. This is... It's actually January 1st. Yes, sir. It's actually January 1st. It's welcome back. We're, we're back. We, after how long of a break? Yeah, it's, it's been a while. We had, bro, this, the, the last podcast we were supposed to, we were supposed to release. It's been privated for like the longest time. We're not releasing that one. We're not releasing it. We're releasing it. <laughs> Maybe some far time in the future. <clears throat> Who knows? <laughs> bro. And like every time, every time like a week passed and we didn't release it, I was like, you know what? That's fine. After the third week of us not releasing it, I knew it wasn't going to get released. Yeah. No. Not at all. But welcome. Welcome back to the podcast. I hope your Christmas season was all right. I hope. I pray blessings over you for the new year. Yeah. I hope you won't broke on Christmas. Yeah, I hope you're not broke now. I hope next Christmas you don't become broke. I hope, <laughs> <laughs> I hope next Christmas you're not broke. Amen. We, oui. Amen. We, oui. Yeah. So, Christmas just passed. How was your Christmas? How was your Christmas time? Christmas uh, holidays. I was broke on Christmas. Real. Uh -huh. Like the week of Christmas, but I was like, you know what? I've been broke before. I can do this. Not like I'm gonna buy gifts for anybody. Uh, <clears throat> I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen, but my family, like we always use it as a time to get as a time to get together, as mm -hmm. you should. Uh, so I went by my auntie's house and I brought I cooked food, but like. The last, the last time. What did you cook? Hold on, hold on, hold on. After uh -huh. like, I'll start off the story, right? The last time we had Christmas, which it actually it just feels like a, a day ago, bro. Like time moving so fast. I had, I made um, potato salad. All right. Now that was, I didn't like the last time because you didn't like your potato salad. My potato salad was fine. It okay. was, it was alright. It was like a five, it was five out of ten. It was a five. Six out of ten. Okay. The reason why it was a six because I had so much input from everybody telling me what to do with the potato salad, you know, oh, what to add in it, and the, like, the, the feedback kind of forwarded down your basically amazing chefing. Amazing it wasn't amazing chef, back chef then, but artistry. like I just couldn't. At, at a certain point, I was just like, you know, what, you guys do it, and uh, you know. I feel like that affected my potato salad. At a certain point, my mother was like, you know, put this in that, put um, onions in, put um, seasoned pepper, put garlic. I was like, I know how to do that. Mm -hmm. I know that's what I have to do. And then, I don't know. Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> you all put garlic in your potato salad? A little bit. I put a little bit. Interesting. Why is it interesting? No, I just never. I don't think I've ever had potato salad with garlic. Well, or maybe I have, and it's just been, you know, a little in, bit. In small amounts, you're not supposed to be able to, like, notice notice it. It's just supposed to be there for its purpose. I've never put garlic in potato salad. All right. I mean, I don't I don't think there's a problem with that either. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, this time, I my auntie called me, and she's like, so what you bringing? Okay. And I was like, nothing. And she was like, you, and, but, you know, I can't, I said nothing, but I know, you know, you have to contribute something. So I was like, I'll cook for the family, whatever you guys want. And she was like, potato salad. I was Again. like, okay. Okay. So I bought potatoes. That's like the only ingredient I bought because I know they had the season and all that stuff. And the mayo. And uh, I brought pumpkin soup. Pumpkin mm -hmm. soup from the, from the restaurant. That, you know, did I make it? I made it. So I was like, you know, it's the, it's the se Christmas season. Mm -hmm. It's going to go bad anyway. So I just brought the pumpkin soup. And they really like the pumpkin soup. Like, they really like it. My grandmother's on the call. Like, my grandmother's in um, um, America right now. Mm -hmm. 
so they were, the she was on the call and like everybody's like complimenting me on the pumpkins on the pumpkin soup. My grandma was like, you know, I'm always a chef now, you know. I'm, yeah. a chef now. I'm, like, I'm trying. Whenever that happens, I like to me. I'm not really a chef because like I don't really I didn't go to school for it or whatnot. Obviously, I have like um, the qualifications because I worked in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. But I just I would just say I'm a cook. But like, uh, if someone were to like say recognize me as a chef, I'd be like, no, I'm a cook. Yeah. You feel like chef is more. You actually studied, went to culinary school or whatnot. Yeah. And it's like when I when I see like the way I see um my my boss, you know, like the knowledge that they have and like the experience that they've been from, like all the stuff that they just like gathered over the years, it's like, nah, I'm not nowhere close to like being that there yet. Anyways, I made the pumpkin, the potato salad. And my aunt, at a certain point, I was, I was cutting the, um, the potatoes. I was cutting it small so it can cook faster because I know the stove is not that, uh, not that strong. It's not like that cool stove. <laughs> so, yeah, uh-huh. yeah so I, could, I was cutting it small and my auntie comes, up, comes over my shoulder. like, Omari, I would like, I would like it when the, the potato salad, like, pia pia, or like when it's um, yeah. too... When it's too uh, too smooth, I was like, "Chill, I know, I know what I'm doing." But my other trust, auntie, trust my other the auntie, process. my other auntie came and was like, "Let's just leave him, let him do his thing." Now he's a cook now. Let him cook, <laughs> basically. And then that actually like got them off my back, got her off my back, and I just like I just did what I know. And I did it. I put a little salt. <laughs> I put a little salt in the water so you don't have to add more salt after. I mean, I still add a little bit more salt. Yeah, because like pumpkin like absorbs salt. That's what it's known for. And uh, I made it. It was good, you know. You're not supposed to put too much mayo. You want enough mayo to cover it, but not like overpower it. Mm-hmm. Like all that stuff. Like I didn't, even, I didn't even, I didn't even taste it. When I made it. I'll be for this nigga. <laughs> Every time he's cooking, he's like, "Oh, I don't, I don't taste, I don't taste my food." Because you know, when you reach a certain level, you just, you know, based on the different ingredients, and you just know the ratio, you know, and you don't have to taste it. You just it's know it's good. It's facts, though. You know? It's facts, though. And every time you've tasted, are we gonna talk about like this time when you had to add water after? And that's for my personal. That's that's for me. That's for me, because I the reason I had water was because I was, I saw it was a like, too thick. I wanted to just dilute it a little bit for me. But the only time I've actually tasted your cooking. All right, yeah, that time it I, was that strong. time I taste it. Because <laughs> I'm like, at a certain point, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> well, I I didn't see I didn't see the chicken right. Uh. I felt like it was gonna to be too chewy. Then the packet, this um, the powder packet I used was just like, I don't know where this was gonna go. Uh-huh. So I was like constantly tasting it. So that yeah, all right. But uh, they also like the pumpkin soup as well. The pumpkin soup, potato salad, potato salad as well. Yeah. So that that um brought a little joy joy to me. I guess I can find um. It's just a new way of like showing love to other people, it's like cooking for them. Yeah, yeah. So I actually enjoy doing that, like you know, cooking for someone, and you know, you you don't you don't really tell me when I do something good, but like I know I know you like the food, I know you like it. What do you mean I don't tell you when you do something good? I gave you a high rating last time. A eight? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like eight or seven. I uh, yeah. The it only was, thing it was, was it was just a little strong. Yeah, oh. too creamy. That's what he said. It's too creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh damn. Um there's like two there's two things that happen after that. Uh I don't really I don't really drink much. hmm But you know, it's it's a little celebration. I'm gonna drink some wine. Mm-hmm. So I drank 
like I took one cup. Every bro, every time I go to grab the wine, my auntie's like, she's like calling my mother's like, you see what he's doing? It's not doing that, you know. <laughs> and make it worse, I go for like I took like three cups, but like I'm I'm doing mix though, like so it'll be wine, sorrow juice, and grapefruit juice. All right. So it's not that strong. She's do, my auntie's like. I mean, I could drink. I could drink more, but it's like, you know, I just want to enjoy the time I'm having right now. Yeah. So, but like, I go for like three glasses of that, which is not strong. Uh huh. And then my my auntie's like a third one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like it's it's reached the point. But with my mother, I, I've been have, have I been saying like a lot. I don't know. Okay, I... you need to. All right, Let, let's let's hone in on that. I need to stop saying like, um, it reached the point. It's reached the point between my mother and I, where it's like I've dyed my hair, I've gotten piercing, hair piercing. Mm-hmm. Like drinking is not. It's like bro, I'm, I'm older now. Older. I'm getting. Yeah. I'm an adult now. Sort of. Kind of. I feel like I'm an adult. You're 18. I'm an adult. You live on your own. <laughs> yeah, it's like all those all those factors. It's like if he's drinking, you know, at least you know he's doing it responsibly, which I do. I don't go past my limit. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I had my I had my mother do some content from help me film some content. Really? Yeah. Have I seen any of that content? No, it's only one video. No, oh, okay. You'll see it one day. I'll see. It. Like sometimes that one this day month. sounds very far away. Sometimes no, this sometimes month. Sometimes this month, I, yeah. Right. I got her approval after I edited, <laughs> edited it. So sometime this week. Uh, I'm curious now. About what? No, of the video. Because I know your mom that, that sometimes doesn't like, <clears throat> like your content. Uh huh. So I'm curious because you got her approval. It was and she helped you film it. It was to um outside inside outside inside. She likes the song. I don't know. I asked her what she filmed. I didn't play your part for her. I only did like we only did my part. Uh huh. And I asked her how she felt about the the song, the lyrical content. Mm-hmm. And she asked me, so he wants to kill himself because of a girl. I'm like, no, no, that's not what it's about. <laughs> she got she got stuck in that one line. Yeah. Wait, not she wants to die. The um. I know. I know. Yeah. Anyways, that was fun. My mother, my mother's, um, she actually does content herself, so she just uh, saw it as like, you know. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. How about you? Cool. How about you? You, so you don't celebrate Christmas, but you did something that day at least, no? I, I worked. Yeah. Ah. I made beats. Ah. Yeah. Um, about your New Year's. Today's New Year's, bro. No, but like last night, or like I was yesterday. at church. Old years, uh, New Year's Eve. Um, what did I do? I was at church yesterday. Just like the whole, the whole day, yeah. It had morning service, so I was there, and then. In the afternoon, I because <clears throat> he has night service, like they going into the new year, yeah. all their service. On, I, yeah, I took a nap, and but then I also wanted to like work on beats, kind of like get a set hard head start for the week that's upcoming. So I, I put my alarm to wake me up like two hours before the time I would leave. So it'll be like one hour to work on beats and then the other hour to like get myself ready, bathe and whatnot. So yeah. Uh what was it? I don't really I don't really go to church as much. So I feel like when events like this come up, like before they have like a gathering i don't i don't know if it's children a children's event 
Mm-hmm. Or or not just like the whole the whole church coming together, having a dinner and whatnot. So like things uh, that, yeah. that this nigga invited me to the to his church dinner, but he said it was a barbecue. So I'm the, here I saw with, barbecue grills, bro. So I'm here with like my casual clothing. I saw barbecue grills. I'm I'm by him. We were like working on like some music. And he's like, yeah, he's he starts getting ready to go. And I'm like, I right, yeah, let me and then I asked him for like a, a actually half your half your joggers. It's like that, but it's just um yeah, I I, I That's I, what bro. You didn't That's read it was. <laughs> Honestly, I don't I don't even You know. forgot. I I kinda forgot about it for hey, a while. It's mine now. No. <laughs> I'm gonna give no. it back to you. <laughs> Sometime. I need that for videos, man. <laughs> Content. Um Asking for a long pants is wearing a short pants is like I, I was more, I was like I wanted a long pants. Um especially because he 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 was like wearing a whole a whole button down shit uh-huh. with a jeans pants and sneakers mm-hmm. and I'm here with my, my socks and my slippers and my short pants and I'm like, You're making me feel underdressed for the occasion. So I get a long pants for him and we come outside and we go to the church and it's a dinner. Literally everyone is dressed up formal. I didn't know that. And he's like, "Oh yeah, it's just you know barbecue. You know, you wanna come?" That's what I thought it was. Honestly, you need to dress. You need to be prepared for the day. I need to dress more neutral instead of going full casual. Yes. I. Because I mean, I... is is that? And also, I feel like if well, I don't know. If I well, if I would if I was dressed the way you were dressed, I wonder if I would have left. I don't think I would have. I would I would have just been like, "Yep, this is this is why I decided to." No, it's also because I wasn't. I wasn't gonna be at a church dinner, bro. <laughs> I was not gonna be at a church dinner. Yeah. Barbecue, fine. <clears throat> yeah, why not? You know, let's chill. But a whole dinner, no. Ah. No. Yeah. That's and I already cool. I needed sleep. So I was like, nah. I I I was like, I no. I understood. I, 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 I sent him off. He, he, nice. I was yeah. like, yeah. I went and picked up my stuff and I dipped. <laughs> How do you get here? To the dinner? I don't know. It just came up. You were... I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I was talking events. Yes. 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 You're saying oh, you don't yes, go night. to um that much church events when it's well, you don't go to church regularly. So when it's special events, yeah, like, that I'll I'll go. And you know, plus, my mother's like more um admin about coming. So I mean, and it's also the new New Year's All Year's Night, which I actually rather be in church than in anywhere else because. Mm-hmm. Like anywhere else, I, w- I felt like it would be just like a just like a a waste, or like it would just feel like um, every other day when it when I stay up and like it goes from eleven fifty nine to twelve in the morning, twelve in the morning. It would feel normal. Yeah, I just want you know, I've been brought up to like you know like you start off the day right, so start of the year right. So I went to church and it was like. Very enjoyable. I, I, I don't not enjoy. I don't know what aspect that causes me to not go, but it's, uh, that's for another time. But I went. I enjoyed it. You know, I got to see like a, a lot of people. That most of my family was there, so most of my family um is in goes to the church I go to, which mm-hmm. wasn't the case when I was younger. So I'm actually like happy to like look around and like see. My family there, and you know, New Year's um twelve o'clock came, and we were still praying. <laughs> I just feel like, bro, my pastor is always my pastor is always late, bro. Not late, um, like coming to church, just like always ha- or hold us back like late. So uh, you'll be like, uh, long service. Church church ends, uh, bro. Church is supposed to end at twelve thirty. Twelve. Uh-huh. Well, tell me why I'm still in there. 
at one thirty. <laughs> every time, bro. It's every, every time. It literally my, does not change. My dad preaches long too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a. It's a thing. Like to the point where my family members, like my aunts and them, would like tease about it. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I have a friend, bro. Like, she would ask, like, if I'm done with church or something. But, like, we'd be in communication, and I'd be like, nah, church is finished. And be like, what? Your, daddy, your father, the preach man. Because <laughs> it's like, he, he, yeah, he preaches long. He preaches long. I, I guess it's just a, a pastor thing, then. Again. But I I un I understand why it happens. Like I don't know, like you, you like you're praying, and then you know some God re- God reveals something to you. So you're like I have to, I have to like say it as it <laughs> as it comes to me. It's like the more things, more things come to you, more things come to you, and then you just sit there for another another hour, and I can I can see it. <laughs> The reason why I can see is because, like, even when I pray, when I pray, and especially when I pray for other people, mm-hmm. it's like, like the more, like, if you if you just you start off with one person, and like you you pray for them, and then, bro, you, you then you think about another person, like, especially like if you know them deeply and you like you know like problems that they're going through, yeah, and, like, you know, like you pray for them, and then you think about another person, and you pray for them, and then and next yeah. you know, an hour is gone, like forty minutes gone. So I understand that aspect, but I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at that point. So yeah, New Year's was New Year's was good. Um, yeah, I was just thinking about like something that happened after it, but I want to talk about that. That's yeah. fair. When you told me to meet you, like at ten. Part of me was like because I knew like the service and whatnot. I was wondering if like it would even be possible. Earlier, when you told me to meet you at ten today, uh huh. I was never wondering if it was gonna be possible because I know normally, like, I'll be home like I'd reach home around like four o'clock, and then be knocked out probably until like twelve or something. Yeah. But I set my alarm and. <clears throat> made it, made it, yeah. I'm surprised I made it too. Honestly. I was surprised you made it because I was expecting to. <laughs> wow. No, because wow. you don't. Wow. You don't be. You don't be getting up early. Yeah, that's you why. You don't I, be getting up early. 10. If I said nine, I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. If I said nine, I would not have made it. I would not have made it. So, I went. I did go to sleep at four. Uh huh. Um and. Uh, I, I went to sleep at four. I was like, bro, I really need to get up. Like, I really need to get up. I don't want to, like, have the, you waiting at the bus stop for, like, too long. <clears throat> and my alarm went off. It's, like, seven. This always, this always happens. This 30, no, seven o'clock alarm hits. Uh-huh. Like, okay, make a mental note. It's seven. I have, like, two hours more to sleep. And then 8.30 alarm hits. It's like, okay, you got 30 minutes. You have to get up in 30 minutes. Uh-huh. And then the 9 o'clock alarm hits. And then 9 o'clock? No, I I don't have a 9 o'clock. I think that's that's my problem. I have a you 9 o'clock. That's, that's the issue after, right after there. After, it's, after 830 alarm hits, it's like, it's all on me. It's all, all right. on me. It's like, and then 9, it's probably like 9, 10 when I check my phone. Sometimes you, you just get that like... I should probably check my phone and see what time it is. Uh-huh. And I was like, please don't be past 10. Please don't be time <laughs> past 10. And I saw 9, 10. And I was like, okay. Okay. I legit, I didn't even bathe. I just like got up, put on my clothes. And then I just like walked out as well. And it took me a while to find the bus. But I was, it was fine. It was like all going according to the time. It was, wasn't too late. It was probably like 9, 48. By the time I was like, you know, if you're at the bus stop, at least you know, like, you'll be waiting until it's ten before you call me and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So, got got on the bus, got to 
Anchorage and like literally f- f- two minutes later you just arrive. I was like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, that's like that's perfect timing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. But every t- um if I I've pushed I pushed myself like two days ago for two days. Like I woke up. Um I had to do something at nine. I woke up for nine. But like the night before, I went to sleep at the same time four. Woke up for nine and then did what I needed to do. It was a Saturday, so they were playing basketball. And I went and played basketball before to even eat in. So I bought like a party and all that. Like just like all of that, like going to sleep at four, waking up at nine, playing basketball, playing like five games exhaustively, like dehydrated. Uh-huh. Have I have not played in so long, bro. That like I just knew the next day I'll be cramping and I was. Like I was like so caref I was so careful in bed because like <laughs> if I mo- make one wrong move, I like like seize up. Game over. <laughs> but I tried to close I close the you know the bottom part of the fridge where you put the produce. Yeah. I tried to close that to my leg. Nah. That's not happening. <laughs> nah. <laughs> bro. I was like demobilized for like the past two days. I'm starting to get the back now, but that's kind of just what I have to go through. Cause uh, I just I just push myself unnecessarily sometimes. Like, why am I playing five games? I lost all those games, bro. <laughs> hey, why to not? To some missionaries, not not. Yeah. For me, each each um. Each game you lose is the game uh-huh. closer to winning. You feel me? Yeah, but nah, they were they were too nice of it. They were too nice of it. I tried to go against the guy that was ten. He's like, I would say he's probably like six, six three. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I was trying to guide, I was trying to guide that I... guard that guy. A little, a little bit shorter than Rokon. Just a little bit. I was trying to guard that guy. Whenever I'm against like really big or tall people, I just channel a chihuahua energy, to be honest. Yes, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. Just get super aggressive, Bro, every, super he's energetic. Just, he's everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, I don't, I even, bro, even his teammates suffer. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Cause it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> No, but like think about it. If you're everywhere, like if you if, if you just stayed on one person, if you just stayed on one person, you'd be, you'd be guarding you'd be guarding that person with that true energy. But then like you just like you switch to like different person, and then you you become a screen to somebody else on your side. The only times when you find me everywhere is usually at the beginning of the game because I just it's like sometimes I find it hard to like. Like, I'm trying to, like, keep track in my brain. Okay, this person's on my team. This person is not. Yeah. But usually at the beginning of, like, games, especially because I don't really play that often. Like, when I say don't play my often, I mean, like, I'll probably play a total of three sport games, like, a year. Yeah. (laughs) It's hard for me to, like, remember in my brain, like, okay, this is for me. This is, like, this is enemy. This is, like ally like yeah Understand so that. i'm like usually very confused <laughs> usually very confused <laughs> so i'm just like i let's let's focus on the ball and this thing is a, a we'll bull scene out. on everybody <laughs> we'll figure it's along the way and then after a while i kind of like okay i kind of like realize you see who's and then, your teammates yeah and then i also notice the person who usually isn't guarded that much uh-huh. And then I'll just stick, like, God, I'll be sticking on that person. I was, I was disappointed in myself this time. Because uh, I like a challenge. I like a challenge. Even though I'm not, I, I will, I'm not fit for it. I was not fit for it. Uh-huh. I was like, and they even offered, it's like, it's two guys, um, two um, missionaries. Um, I don't know what, the, hmm? oh, wait. Last time y'all told them to like play with y'all, not sure. Or, like, I wasn't there though. Before. 
and I think I was there when they mentioned that or oh, they mentioned that like they never came to play. They came to play. Yeah, but they came they they play another time and they like I was kinda like I was like laughing at Leroy because they beat him so badly. <laughs> they're, they're actually beat me, they're, they're actually beat me good. Worse. No, I could see that they're good. They're really good. Um but like them being good makes me want to play them even more. Uh-huh. It's like I have that type of um <laughs> blue lock energy. That yeah, basically well yeah. It's just like I guess I don't care about basketball past that. Uh huh. It's kinda like well for one It's just fun to you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It just it, it really is. Yeah. Like even when I lose, I'm like, bro, I know I can I know how to beat you. Like I just I just uh-huh. know it. Like even like playing against my boss, which like he's like really like let me not say really good. He's good. But and he's also tall. So he's like getting all the law bins and like all that all that type of stuff. Uh-huh. And like built dude. I'm not that I'm not that built. So he can f- easily topple me over. Yeah. All that. And I still I'm like still um he played basketball with us and like completely like wiped wiped us. <laughs> And after that, he would, he, um, I was like, even like Leroy is kind of the same way. Uh huh. Where he's like, he wants to play you again, even though you're good. Mm-hmm. He's just like, he just want to have fun, you know? Yeah. And uh, he thought that he, he, that we wouldn't want him back because of how bad he beat us. Uh huh. I was like, nah, bro, you can come and play again. Yeah. But I do understand, I understand the aspect of like him, him being too good. For us, because it just feel like you know you're just beating a bunch of toddlers. Yeah. At that point. yeah. And I do understand that aspect. I understand that. That's like I try. I really try to like get. If I'm playing someone that's better than me, I try to beat them. Let's see. How do I explain this? Let's say I have like I have. I would say I have three games in my head. Mm-hmm. The first game, I'm probably gonna get wiped. Yeah, it's like, wash. Second game, I have to at least try to like put up enough points to like sh- show them that like, hey, you know, if I if I learn you enough, I can like beat you. You are touchable. Huh? You are touchable. Basically. Uh-huh. So it's like, but like, if you don't if you don't do that and you like you lose their interest, then they're just gonna be like, they're literally gonna start yeah. stop trying. Gonna be bored. Yeah. Yeah. So I played five ga- five games with these guys. Unfortunately, I was not able to touch them. <laughs> so they were indeed. Huh? They were indeed untouchable. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like if I didn't even have the time for it. If I if I really like put the, the energy into playing basketball, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh the mo- the thing I was most I was most mad about was <clears throat> Uh, I didn't want to be on the team. I, like just straight up, uh, I just want I just wanted to beat them. So like when we made our own teams and like it was like us against them full court. I was kind of, I was mad that I wasn't able. I didn't um lead as best as I could mm. because like I truly believe it doesn't really matter. It, like yeah, it's two of them mm. and two of them plus like the extra free guys that they get. Yeah, I truly believe like with whoever I have on my team, mm-hmm. I can lead them to victory. Okay, <laughs> and I didn't do that. Uh, so yeah, that that was got me mad. It was a full blue lock in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you wanna talk about? Outside, inside. Sure. It's dropping. When's the proposed? When's the when's the proposed drop? When's the proposed date? <clears throat> what date you aiming for? I'm aiming. I'm aiming for Wednesday. All right. Yeah, Wednesday. We should probably give them context because we're having a yeah. So there's a song. It's, it's gonna drop on Wednesday. No, they don't need any context. Yes, they do, bro. <laughs> All right, so. I we made a song. I don't know how long ago. Well, couple couple a, a couple while weeks ago. ago. Oh, a while ago. 
couple of weeks is crazy. A couple of months ago, probably like two months ago. Uh, I'm I found this beat, and I like really I really like I really like the beat. I was constantly playing it over and over again, and I made a verse to it. And it's unfortunate, but I have a big problem with making second verses. No, that's not why I had him on the song. I just knew he would be a perfect match for the song. Uh, I freestyle it. I like put play the beat on, played my part, like sang my part, and then had him freestyle to it just to show him that he can like, you know, get on a beat like that. Uh huh. Um, I didn't have that was no. Huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Basically. Yeah, you led me to victory. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, and then a couple of days after, we like, I finalized like my my verse, and then it was like your time to your turn to do the <laughs> your part, and then this thing goes. You know, let me not do my typical more shit. <laughs> I I was not prepared for what he meant by that, because like. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I, I was. Not. You give your perspective, and then I'll, 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 I'll go my. I'll give my point of view. My, what happened through my lens. Go on. Okay, so I'm going to give you what actually happened. He's going to give you what he thinks happened. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. <shy. laughs> yes. Continue. So it's like, <clears throat> and whenever somebody is recording, I don't know if you've like seen like um, like. <clears throat> footage of like you know someone recording for the beat with just the headphones on it's very it's very like weird to hear them sing without the beat there now he's doing very dramatic vocal takes <laughs> yeah while like a, another friend is in the room i'm there and i'm like i don't know what is happening to what is he doing <laughs> to my song right now this is, this is my song what is he doing to my song right now and then like 30 minutes go by and i'm like okay like, I don't see the vision. I do not see. <laughs> <laughs> I do not see the vision. Uh huh. Like he says, says a couple of funny lines. You 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 hear it, and he was like, "All right, I'm done." I was like, "Okay." I I go for the headphones. He's like, "No, I want to I want to play it on the speakers." Uh huh. I was like, "Okay," and he played it on the speakers. I'm like, I was like, actually, I was very much. I was very impressed. I was very impressed by the what, what he did. It's like he didn't he didn't do his typical martial. He just like he like experimented, and uh, <laughs> I actually like his part more than mine's. I mean, I still like my my verse, but I don't know if, I don't I don't know if it's the feel of like having a feature on the song. It's yeah, like, yeah. it's the same thing for uphill. It's like I still like I will like wrap my part like till the day ends but like when your part comes on I just like like an extra grin comes on my face bro and it's like basically the same thing for the song so you 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 give your take my take uh, my take what happened was he sent me a song and then I listened to it I think that I liked it but it was just I think certain parts had some repetition he changed it like after but you know, that was the only my only like critique, and then I was by him a time, and then he like played the song, and I was like, "Do you?" Because he he was like complaining about like complaining, just like saying about like how hard it is, or like the fact that he couldn't come up with a second list. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I was I was like, "Do you you want me? Like, you want?" <laughs> I can try. <laughs> Condition. <laughs> Anywho, so I hear it, but I don't know the mood I was in. I wasn't, to be honest. You want me to be honest? Yeah, like, go ahead, go ahead. It wasn't like a when I said, "Let me like not do some stereotypical mosh stuff." It wasn't like in a moment of like experimental epiphany. Okay. It wasn't. It wasn't like being dead honest. I 
I wasn't taking it seriously. <laughs> yeah, I, I could tell. I wasn't I taking could it tell. Serious. That's why I was very worried. <laughs> I was just doing whatever, bro. But then after, I don't know, it started to kind of hit. You feel me? And I started to, as I added my layers, you know, added seven pieces. And like, I really, I really liked what I did. And then, no, I'm doing all of this stuff and I'm not really. No, he's not cluing me in on anything. No, yeah, no, and it's like no. externally, I'm like very like gremlin like. <laughs> I'm like very gleeful and whatnot. And I know, like, I'm hearing like the beat loss I'm saying, but like, I know for a fuck that from the outside, I sounded trash. So that's when he went, when. <coughs> That's why when he got the, was going for the headphones, I was like, please so loud. Because also it's like, the other like guy was in the room. Yeah. And. He's wondering what is going on. Like, he's I, giving me looks. I was like, I have to, I have to save myself, bro. I can't, <laughs> I can't let him go away thinking I'm, I'm trashed. I have to, you know. I was like, you know, I have to, I have to show that I wasn't. I wasn't being a trash artist, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, play it out loud. And then he's like, he said, basically what he said, that he was surprised. And then he was like, okay, but... Uh, I think I wanted hair in headphones. You wanted, you wanted me to do, like, more? <laughs> because... I had stuff like halfway throughout the list, and then I was kind of like, yeah, that's it. You know? All right, the bridge. You didn't, did you do the bridge? No, mm -hmm. you, the hook. You didn't do the hook. I only did <clears> half <throat> of my verse, though, at that time. Oh, yeah. And then you're like, yeah, but like, can you kind of like reel it in now? Like, make it a bit more serious. And I was like, you want me to make it serious? Are you sure that's what you want? I right, She wants to. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then my next line is she wants to die i'm like hey that's what you asked for you asked for serious and that's let me let me, that's, let me that's be serious what I asked for, yeah. and i finished my list and and then i he asked me to do the the hook the chorus at the end yeah we did that and the rest is history Outside, inside, guys. Go, Basically, go stream it. It will, it, it will should, be, it, it will be out. be out when this podcast drops. Yeah. So, I will. With a music video, is like with really, a music really video going all out. We're like doing the final, um, final footage for the music video after we're done filming here. Yeah. So check it out, guys. I really like the song. I feel like my part is the, the it's the type where it's like when I'm playing it in public, I kind of get a little self conscious just because of like you know what headspace you were in when you did it or something. No, it's just it it sounds just the way it sounds. Like I like it and it kind of like. Well, I I love that shit. I but love it. I feel like it's more on like the weird side. It's kind of like I don't know if you know if this artist is called Tizo Touchdown, but I do. Yeah. When I was um singing it. The way he like, I guess, pronounces or enunciates while singing, uh -huh. like that. That's what kept on coming to mind. Like even the like extra dramatic takes, like that's like a teaser. Like I'm a cry. <laughs> like teaser touchdown. Like it reminded me of, and he's like also one of those artists where it's like. I'm gonna I'm gonna think twice about playing him in public, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but some of these songs, not all. <clears throat> but he's a yeah, he's a fire artist, though. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that was the that's outside inside the story behind. The, the double is... experience. Uh, I wish I, I wish I captured more of that so you guys could see, could see the outside of like what I was seeing. You know. <laughs> but you know, I got I got footage of that. I got uh, a vlog, 
I'll come out showing, you know, I me doing my thing. No, I did. You only like took footage of me doing the olives, so it sounds super <laughs> weird. It sounds super weird. But no, that's a it's a really good song. One well, of my favorite songs. It's probably gonna be my fr- my first song of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Last year. Of this year. Brody, is just that. Yeah, it's gonna be my You're, first song of the year. You sure? Oh, for me, yeah, from us. Nah, we're gonna make more heat. It's gonna be hot fire, more fire than that. Okay. We have a whole year ahead of us, bro. Okay. You gonna say that? Yes. It's your first song of the year so far. Okay. Yes. I'll say so far. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this song in December and f- still think it's fire. Yeah, but it wouldn't be your favorite. Okay. From us? Yeah. We're gonna make okay, more that's heat, true. That's bro. true. We we we, we do. We You're really gonna, 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 gonna put a cough on it, bro? <laughs> we're gonna we gonna, You're gonna <laughs> put a cough on what we create, bro? Be like, okay. My bad. My bad. We're not gonna create anything better than this for this entire year. I, I always said it was like, it might be my favorite one. You said it's gonna be. Okay. Yeah, I did say it's gonna. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you. The podcast. Um, yeah. Happy New Year. Oh, it's still filming. That's nice. I'm keeping all of this in. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Please subscribe, bro. It's the only way we can tell. Subscribe. <laughs> this is... I'm telling you, please, please.